This isn't high school anymore. There are some changes coming your way now that you're a college student. Going to college is a big time of change. You will be examining how you think, what you believe, what you want to do as a career. It's an exciting time, but it can be a bit overwhelming. In college, you will have much more freedom, but you also will have more responsibility. You are more likely to have to study more than you did in high school. Many college students find that they have to study a lot more or a lot harder. Do not underestimate the amount of time it's going to take you to study. Plan on spending at least two hours of study time for each hour you are in class, and that is for each subject. You are expected to be responsible for yourself. You are directly responsible for your academic career. Again, it's an exciting time, and you will meet many new people, and sometimes some very different people. Appreciate the diversity. Learn from others. One of the things you need to learn is what your instructors expect of you. They will expect you to be in class. That's probably not very different from high school. However, GGC has no principal that will come track you down. Class attendance and class participation are very vital. Doing your homework assignments, keeping up with your reading, studying the materials, turning in your assignments on time, and coming to class prepared are very, very important. Be sure to spend time on your assignments. If you have questions, ask your instructors. They expect you to talk to them and to be open-minded. Make sure you keep up with your classes. Get a planner. Stay organized. Again, schedule that study time. Don't wait till the last minute. Take notes in class and review them often. And again, if you have any questions, ask your professor. GGC has a mentoring model. We do not have a separate advising office like many schools do. So at GGC, you will be assigned a mentor. You will find out who that is by the beginning of classes this fall. Your mentor will be a faculty member and you will be expected to meet with them each semester. Your faculty member serves as your primary contact for advising and support. They're there to help guide you through your GGC experience. They will help you develop educational and career goals. They will help you understand the relationships among the courses, programs, and other academic experiences provided by the college. They will help you plan a course of study. They're there to help you. And although your mentor is there to help you and to encourage you, you also have responsibilities in the mentoring relationship. You are expected to gain the information needed to take responsibility for your own course scheduling. While your mentor will help you plan your classes, it's ultimately your responsibility to schedule your classes and your program planning. Make sure you know about the relevant policies, procedures, and rules of the college and the particular academic program you are in. Consult with your mentor regularly to decide on your courses, but also to let them know how you are doing. Classroom etiquette is something else we need to discuss. The primary rule is be respectful of others. For example, don't talk to your neighbors in class while your professor is lecturing or another student is presenting. Make sure you turn your cell phone off. Don't talk on the phone, don't answer calls, don't text your friends or your mom. Don't play games on your phone while you're in class. Turn it off, put it away. Also, speak respectfully to other people. That includes your classmates, not only your instructor. Address your instructor appropriately. If they have a doctorate, call them doctor. When addressing your instructor and sending them emails, 
please send appropriate emails. Emails are not as informal as text messages, for example. And speak appropriately on the telephone, even when leaving a message. So many students will call and not leave their phone number to call back, them back at, or leave their name or their 9000 number. Make sure you speak appropriately on the phone. Be on time to class. Pay attention in class. Come to class prepared. These are all expectations that instructors have of you. Another thing that's important is to respect time. You can tell a lot about someone's level of discipline and their attitude toward others by the way they manage their time. Procrastination is one of those time management issues. Procrastination can trip you up. Many people procrastinate and they procrastinate for very different reasons. Just think of procrastination as your biggest enemy. Sometimes people procrastinate because they think a task is hard or boring or they don't want to do it or they don't prioritize well. Remember, procrastination can trip you up. Remind yourself of the possible consequences. Get and stay motivated and get moving. If it helps, make a to-do list or break the task down into smaller parts. Reward yourself with something like ice cream, for example, for having done the task. There are many ways to avoid procrastination. Make sure you do. You also need to respect other people's time. So please, arrive on time for class. Don't come into class chronically late. If you have an appointment with someone, don't break it, at least not without sharing with them what the reason may be. No one likes to be stood up. Make sure you're on time for appointments and meetings too. And this includes appointments and meetings with your mentor or your faculty members. Be respectful of others' time. An additional subject we'll talk about is emotional intelligence. It's very important to understand. Emotional intelligence is the ability to identify, use, understand, and manage emotions, yours and other people's. Emotional intelligence is important. Emotions give us information, so tune in to them. They also affect success. Learn to recognize and handle your emotions appropriately. This is an exciting time. We welcome you to GGC. Most importantly, remember, success begins with you.